All right, getting together with friends as an adult is not as adventurous mm -hmm. as when you were a kid. You may go out to eat, see a movie, or just spend time at each other's home. Yeah, play dates are a little different, mm -hmm. right, as an adult. All that is perfectly fine, but why not kick it all up a notch? Paula Rizzo is the author of Listful Living, and she joins us now with unique ways to catch up with our friends. Welcome back to the show, Paula. Hi, thanks so much. All right, so talk about making plans in the first place. I know that, you know, we, we feel this mm -hmm. way. We tend to just get caught up in our daily grind and our social lives, they pretty much take a back seat, but it, it really is so important to just keep in touch with friends. Time with friends can contribute to a laundry list of health benefits, including improved mood, lower risk of depression and anxiety, and living just a less stressed life, for sure. And if you have a collaborative friendship, friends who will help you, then that leads to a more productive day. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so you have some ideas to make these get-togethers a little extra special. What's the first one you have for us? Yes, so pick a theme. Picking a theme really goes a long way. So pick something that you like to do and then create a get together around it. Of course, there's, you know, the book club or the oh, wine yeah. club, but what about if you did something like a tea tasting or picked your favorite TV show and yeah. then met up after you watched it and, you know, talked about that or did a foodie night where you pick a secret ingredient and everyone creates one dish with that ingredient. You can be a little bit, you know, creative. Maybe it has to do with exercise. If everybody's into an exercise class, you could meet up there. And if you're not all together, you know, you could do it as a Zoom call too. Maybe it's not <laughs> as fun, but at least you can get together and see each other. All right. Well, the next idea brings back some nostalgia of being a teenager. Tell us about that. Yes. Do a swap party. Oh. So the way this works is that you invite your friends over, have some food, and then everybody will trade clothes, bags, shoes, anything that you're not really using anymore you think might look better on your friend. And it takes us back to the old days when we used to be teenagers and you would get some fabulous stuff from your friends. It doesn't just have to be clothes, though. You could also do it with kitchen items or, you know, something from your garage or something that might be useful for someone else. <laughs> okay. All right. So a girl's trip is probably on a mm -hmm. lot of people's bucket list, but you say it doesn't have to be a big extravagant trip. Yes, so organizing a trip seems very daunting, but it doesn't have to be a very long trip or it doesn't have to be very far, just something to get you out of your everyday normal activities. So I like to do a two or three day trip that's surrounded around an anchor activity. So a concert, a performance, a retreat, something that everyone's really excited about because mm -hmm. if you have that one central thing, then it makes the planning a lot easier and people are more motivated to do it. I feel I, like we do some of these things. I love yeah. a good girls trip. And yeah. you did that with the Beyonce yeah, concert. Yeah, we went to Amsterdam. <laughs> you are Beyonce. experts. I love it. All right, and finally, how do we take advantage of our friends, but we mean in a, in a good way? <laughs> Yes, use your friends wisely. So this is a good way to get something that you've been procrastinating off your to-do list. Pick something that you have been dreading and uh, your friend can do the same and then you can help each other. So let's say, you know, maybe somebody's website needs updating or you need new headshots for LinkedIn or something like that. You can both help each other and that way it's a two for one. You get to see each other and you get more done. Sounds good. All right, well, Paula, thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. Good seeing you as always. And if you need ideas to get more organized, you can go to paularizzo.com slash lists.